this thing of wearing suit and acting to impress people the day the need for power comes better have it otherwise you will either pack out of that ministry in shame or you will pack out with sickness and death there are certain challenges that comes to you if you don't have power it will put you to shame those are simple challenges there are other challenges that comes to you if you don't have power they won't forgive you there are certain spirit entities you have made too much noise around and they come to check what you have you don't have power they will not bless you with disgrace they will make sure you live with an affliction he said the sons of skiva they thought this thing is about speaking english or calling some names until they confronted a demoniac and the guy looked at them by what authority have you come here what carry what brought you here and they said in the name of jesus that paul preaches who told you you have to quote the jesus of paul do you know him what has he given to you the moment he discovered they didn't have he didn't disgrace them the bible said the spirit possessed pounced on them beat them tore their clothes and injured them number one their ministries end that day because the news went abroad number two they were bodily damaged to a very serious degree see these things we do is not to create impression is to make impact and the only way you make impact is by power brothers and sisters the gospel is not with enticing words of human wisdom the gospel is the demonstration of the spirit and power jesus said these signs shall follow them that believe not talking he said in my name they shall cast out devils in my name they shall lay hands on the sick the sick shall recover in my name they shall drink deadly things he shall not hurt them in my name they shall step upon scorpions and serpents they shall not be hurt how many of you notice that the four credentials were all power oriented everything was power oriented because the reason you will stand out is because there's a power at work in you and you know the glorious thing this power is already there our job is to know how to activate it our job is to know how to release it if we were going to begin to negotiate for power it would have been difficult but thank god he said not many days from now you shall receive the holy ghost and power so when we receive the holy ghost we receive power now the reason we talk power is to teach you how to release it because it's already on your inside so many christians that are powerless are not powerless because there's no power in them they are powerless because they have not released power number two force that makes you a wonder is power 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 please take these things i'm telling you seriously so that you don't regret following god not because god is not enough not because god is not all what you desire or what you should have but because you cannot prove you cannot verify and you cannot demonstrate what you have spent all your life doing please understand these things i tell you believe them and commit to having them find expression in your life the second thing that makes your life a wonder is power every spirit knows that without power you are a slave in the realm after jesus discipled them i've said this again and again and i will say it yet again three years of discipleship he said don't go out with lecture notes luke 24 49 tarry in jerusalem until you are endued with power most of the questions of life is not answered with english language most of the questions of life is answered with power 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 you must understand this 